So biometrics actually help secure that entire problem area which has been the reason for many breaches and hacks. And with biometrics, the experience uh, is also very cool and very simple. So you've seen it there that this person is able to make payments, do business by just showing their face or actually smiling uh, at their phone and they're able to unlock uh, the method of payment. Face pay. We talked about palm pay, now it's face pay. Interesting how it has to deal with the upper part of the body now. We're, we're shifting more. To, so we're, we've focused on the hands. And we're going to talk a little bit more about another type of payment with the hand, but we've talked about the hands through palm pay and waving it over the, the machine there and you're able to make payments with your with your hand. And now we're seeing that it's gearing more towards the upper part of the body, the head. And as I stated, there's going to be something in the forehead that's going to allow a person to make payments that they're going to either insert something there or they're going to scan something on the head, the head part of the area, the, the upper part of the head area, the forehead. That's coming. It's just a matter of time. We haven't truly pinpointed how they're going to do it. My theory is, is that it's going to be the fleshy part between the eyes that they're able to insert something there. But either way, we're getting more closer to this um, face, this head um, recognition by the devices, technology, so you can make payments. So now let's take a look at this other form of payment that was recently developed called vein pay. Vein, V E I N, your veins. I got the idea when I was in line at the supermarket and I saw that uh, to pay is a quite complex and uh, process that takes a lot of time. So I thought that there, there must be an easier way to pay and, uh, and a quicker way to pay. And that was the start of Quickster. When you're going to pay in a supermarket, you enter your uh, four last digits in your phone number and then you hold your hand above the sensor. Uh, and a transaction takes less than five seconds. So it's a very quick payment solution. I think it's really good. Um, it's easy when I, when I don't have my wallet with me, I can use my hand. So it's really fast and easy. The vein pattern in your palm is unique for each individual person. And the four last digits in your phone number is uh, because people want the moment to just like look at the display and see that the amount is correct and um, before they pay. At the moment, we're active uh, at about 15 places around uh, campus, and we have uh, about uh, 1,600 users using it. We're, we're the first on the market and the first company to deploy a biometric payment solution where you pay with your palm. Uh, there are other companies looking at similar solutions, but they're not on the market yet. Of course, we had problems like uh, connect all the players on the market, the financial sector, the banks, um, the stores, supermarkets, and then to package it to a solution that the customers want to use and that it's easy for them to use. When I don't have my wallet with me, I can use my hand. It's really fast and easy. That's the feedback that the people are giving. It's fast, it's easy, it's convenient. Just like palm pay, now it's vein pay. And if you notice in the video that everyone's, pretty much everyone's using their right hand. I mean, that's the standard. The right hand is pretty much the standard. They're, they're lefties, but the right hand is usually the standard, and, and everyone was using their right hand, and then they're putting in uh, four digits. So this technology that's scanning the right hand, it's looking now at the vein pattern, and it, it's looking at what's underneath the skin, in the right hand or in the forehead, and it's being touted as convenience once again. 
We are truly getting closer, brethren. We are getting closer. I mean, these are some exciting times, interesting times. It shouldn't be scary to you. You shouldn't be fearful. The only ones that should be fearful are the ones who are not living for Jesus Christ, that are not born again, that are not children of God, and walking in willful sin, the lukewarm. They're the only ones who should begin to be alarmed. And, and that's just the grace of God for you to see these things and be awakened that reality has kicked in. And in, there are people out there who say, well, the mark of the beast is not going to be something inserted under the skin or in the forehead. It's, it's, it's uh, worshiping on Sunday. <laughs> Listen, let those people, and I've said it before, let them think that because a time will come when the revelation of this man of sin, the one of perdition, the lawless one, he will rise up and he will issue out a mandate for all. And what are these people going to say then? Well, it's, it's not to be concerning. Uh, we believe that the mark of the beast is worshiping on Sunday. Therefore, we'll take this, this uh, you know, technology underneath the skin. Or are they going to truly wake up at that point and repent of their false teaching, all those years of false teachings? That's why it's very important that we study the Word of God, read it precisely, and then we correlate that and with practical things that are going on in life and we see that the prophecies begin to come to fruition. So palm pay, uh, face pay, selfie pay, vein pay, all these biometric ways of payment are coming out right now. And now they want to, um, the World Economic Forum is talking about putting a chip in every child so they will not be uh, kidnapped or they won't be lost, go wandering off. You'll always be able to track them. That is what, that's the time that we're living in right now. We cannot deny that. I mean, I, I go to certain places and, you know, it's, if it's 89 cents, they say, do you have 89 cents? If I say no, uh, do you mind if we keep the change or can you donate the change? Because for whatever reason, <laughs> for whatever reason, they, they want my change. Whether they're low on change or they just want to get it out of circulation, and want you to just use your card primarily, I do not know the true intent behind that. But it's it's telling me also, it's a shadow also of what is to come of a cashless society where they will totally get rid of cash and they will get you dependent on this biometric system as we read in the articles in the past where you will use yourself, your body, what's inserted in you that's going to be the new form of payment, doing business, buying and selling, and functioning in this present world. I think it's really good. Um, it's easy when I when I don't have my wallet with me, I can use my hand. So it's really fast and easy. When I don't have my wallet with me, I can use my hand. So it's really fast and easy. When I don't have my wallet with me, I can use my hand. So it's really fast and easy.